Yo, what is up guys? This is Aprelia AI here again and today we're going to be talking about this new amazing feature by Midjourney known as the editor which is a form of advanced in painting. So when we would prompt images inside Midjourney we would have the ability to use the vary region feature. So if we would see something really bad on the image, like let's say this part of the finger, we could map it out and then it would try to prompt out something different based on the already existing prompt or a new prompt. And you know, sometimes it would get pretty good results and it's really good to clear out certain impurities or pixelation in certain parts of the image. But you would not have the ability to just insert an image inside mid journey and then start editing from there. You had to, you know, basically use this value region on an existing image until now. So the editor functionality is only available on web and only certain portion of the users are now allowed to use it, which is very important, you know, point to make here. So in case you had a yearly subscription, so you paid advance for a year, or you had, I think, done like over 10,000 prompts or something like that, you would be eligible for this feature. And that probably will be available for a lot of people also. And right now there's a URL and an image support. And we're gonna be giving you a couple of different examples here. So just very amazing features included here. So two very distinctive things. Number one is that now we have the ability to obviously change portion of the image. So let's say I don't like this earring part over here. It's a bit malformed. So I have the ability to kind of change this area over here and maybe it will do something different with it. The second part is that Mid Journey was never really able to do certain style of images, which Stable Diffusion was able to do with certain checkpoints and lowers like 2.5D style images were really, really hard to do in very specific style that I'm talking about, which I don't have a reference in it right now, but essentially now we have the ability to do so. Now, this is not just, you know, in painting feature, it also expands the image. So let's say, hey, I want this image to be a bit different size so I can use maybe it as an avatar instead of a phone wallpaper. And I will say like Android girl, and then we're gonna be hitting the submit edit and now we'll start to do, and I, as far as I know, this is actually not costing you any credits to do so, which is also amazing. So right now it is expanding the image and it's able to use the style of the existing image to prompt out something very, very close to that. So as I just said previously, you wanted to do a certain style of image, which was done in a very specific style in Stable Diffusion, you were not able to do that mid journey until now. So now we can put that any type of really image and mid journey is able to copy that. So here we can see now the ear has been fixed out and you can see that the style is consistent on all of these images It's not doing like if you do in painting with a wrong checkpoint inside focus or mid journey, stable, any stable diffusion fork is not able to do this. Um, so this is pretty amazing. There is also the retexture feature. This is not as amazing, but I'm just gonna show you it any anyways. And let's do another image. And there's a bit of a like a hassle with the interface still. So I'm gonna be putting out another image over here. Let's try this one. Uh, let's try to do a lot more in painting. This is not the most sharpest image now that I'm looking at. So maybe I should have upscaled this, but hey, let's just try it out for the sake of the argument. So I'm gonna be trying out this hybrid woman creature uh, something like that let's try to do this here over here and submit edit and let's go into back in here and see the retexture so it's basically retexturizing the image into different things these are not as clean guys i have to say that this is not the point of this thing i think these are actually not very good as you can see maybe this is okay actually out of the four but you can definitely clear that there's a lot more detail so what happens to be going on is it just drastically loses quality on this retexture feature it's just something you know okay but fundamentally i don't think it needs to be there so and we can also try out the 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 the, the let's see what 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 happened here so once again, okay, there's some weird, weird lines there. I haven't seen that before. Weird lines again, but the style is consistent. I think this is a really bad image. So if you use low, low pixelated and 
images with a lot of artifacts and it's just going to give you a really bad result. So you'll make sure the quality of the image is actually really good. So let's take, a, take another image over here and let's try to do a bit of a different play. Okay, so this is kind of like what I'm talking about when I talk about 2.5D. Okay, this is actually also quite blurry, so let's not use this one. Edit new image, let's do this one. Let's hope that this is a bit more higher quality. Maybe I should have upscaled these before the video. Okay, this is pretty good. So let's do this, so, so just a prompt. This is going to be probably increasing our quality a bit. So I, I wanna actually change the flowers out of here. I don't like them, so let's let's take those out. And let's see what it will do, what it will do. And then we just also do a retexture of this. And let's see how, how it's gonna be dealing with that with the prompt intact. And also you have the aspect ratios over here. So we use, let's go back again here and let's try another image here. Let's go to do a bit different style of approach. We have this image over here and let's just do a suggest prompt and then just use an aspect ratio of nine to six. And let's see how that also turns out. So this is an anime style. So actually I should probably erase that part of the play. Let's see. But here we have the foxes. The foxes actually turn out to be pretty good on these retextures over here. A bit of quality loss. We can definitely see that. You have also the ability to scale the image over here. Zoom in would be very nice, but apparently that is not available as of right now. You can make the brush pretty small also, so there's a lot of different things. And then there's obviously Restore, but you can use Control Z as I'm using right now. So here we have some of the prompting here. And this, for example, I mean, the flower looks a bit weird, but okay, these they're still kind of blends in and just able to consistently do the same style, which I'm really impressed by. This is maybe not as good. So this is a really, really cool feature. And obviously you can upscale everything into a gallery, uh, which, which I love obviously about it. So let's see, look at this image. It didn't really get a lot better at all by doing an upscale on it. So that's kind of shame, but it is what it is. But I still have to say that this is a very powerful tool. Here we have the anime style being consistent. So it's not limited to just 3D images or something like that. It is able to visualize the images and keep doing a very, very fine job. So any image you find on the internet, you can erase, you can restore, and you can write much more drastically as well. So you can start, you can choose any existing image and then just start adding more things to it. So let's say we have Let's do a final test over here and you can use URLs as well. We have a dinosaur over here and let's say we want to add more. I don't know what we would add here. A flower bed, a bed of flowers. And it's just able to kind of memeify the images. I don't know how well this will be turning out to be, but you just, this is a lot more advanced, like the, the impeding that we were using earlier with the earlier mid journey versions. And I think the quality of like going, okay, here we go. So we have flowers now. The style is not matching here specifically because this is kind of like a, it has a focal point on the dinosaur and everything else, as you can see on the background is a lot blurry. So it's using blur here on the flowers. Let's see if the other ones, I mean, these are still believable and these can be still like retexturized probably. Can I retexture this image over? Yes, we can. So after you have done the image, matte style is not matching, but the FX are, now we can retexture it and it will maybe start to look like the image is a lot more blended together. So this is a very, very powerful tool. I think it's superior to the stable diffusion in painting because we don't, you always have to fuck around with the different okay <laughs> this is kind of crazy and there's a woman there inside okay that's kind of creepy already okay well at least it is creative but as i kind of said already the repainting is not the bestest thing that i've seen here so uh, sorry retexture but repainting i'm really liking it and obviously you can give it multiple different shots at it and you can give more precise prompts and we just did a very very simplistic thing and i didn't even try like i don't know if you can use niji and things like that on the top there's also the standard and raw. So if you're using photos, use raw. And you can also use Niji, which we probably should have used with some of these things. And obviously there's a personal feature. 
aesthetic weirdness and variety. So these are ways to to relax as well. So you have the ability. So that's kind of what I what we have here today. Uh, there's also a way to bring out existing images from your gallery. And I think you need to like, maybe, maybe we should try it out. So here I have an image that I have, and then you can click here to go into the editor. And here we can now edit this new image on the way that we did prior open in full editor. Okay, there we go. So now the image is here. So in case you want to like change out different things, I want to change the eyes on here. And this was full image journey prompted image. And it's using the same prompt automatically over here. So I am really impressed by this guys. I think this is really, really good feature. And this is just changing the landscape a lot because this is what really people probably want more than prompting outs from scratch is like really defined detailing the images. Now I just kind of wish that there would be this sort of a, like a super high end upscaling feature in Midjourney. Obviously I'm using upscale myself. It's a great program, but Hey, let's not blab any longer. It's already been a long video in case you have the access to it. Tell me what you think about it. Is this better than stable diffusion editors or not? I would love to hear your opinion about that. Thanks for watching. We'll be seeing you in the next video. Cheers.